Good evening. Uh, welcome to .programming.blogspot.com. Today I will show you how to use uh, validation control uh, in Visual Studio 2012, 2013, and 2015. Actually, uh, <coughs> getting error uh, when we use uh, with, uh, validation controls like required field validator, uh, compare field validator, range field validator, etc. Uh, these all are the uh, validation controls when we use in, in 2012, 13, and 15 in empty project, empty website you can say, then getting error and what types of error uh, that is shown on your browser, just check it, uh, un, uh, restricted for the uh, scripting files like, okay. Uh, we can solve it using two different ways uh, by using the bin folder that is available in uh, website for uh, web forms uh, websites you can create it uh, but if you want to uh, if you want to use this validation control without the bin folder then you can simply uh, you can use this by adding some properties in web.config file so first of all getting error when we use uh, use validation control so first of all add a new web page on your screen that is add new item okay Add new item. Computer is too much slow, uh, so so sorry. Add a web page. Mm, okay, that's fine. Now add a required field validator control on use any one uh, validation control onto your page. Uh, if you are working in uh, empty pros empty website, then you getting error. So in this tutorial, I will solve how to these fixing the problem. A username, a username is a required field through which we can get the username so it's a required field mm, so uh, we have a uh, we have a text box to taking the value and also must to require this field so use required field validator control okay now in the property window on the text message write the proper, uh, proper text that is validation and apply the required field validator control just after the username text box that's fine that is required field validator control in the property windows uh, change the error message that is the uh, control to validate is a text box one and the text as well as the error message is defined the four color is right and text is star okay save this and right click on your uh, design window and view check your application in browser okay your application is currently running on your web browser hmm. after successfully load and click on the button that's you getting error wait for a few seconds to completely load this application
mm, yeah also it's taking too much time so please sorry uh, and the username click on the validation and getting error okay untrusted validation mode requires okay that is trusted validation mode is not uh, available okay set the property of untrusted uh, you can say uh, trusted mode property is none so here we have a property that in app setting folder inside the application setting you can set properties app settings inside the app settings you can define your property add untrustative mode okay uh, oops key name key and name is untrustative validation mode so that is the key validation settings oops and the unrecognized element is a key so key equals to validation setting it's not proper uh, format so define the proper format oops add and that is the key key equals to validation settings colon here we use colon yeah that is fine validation settings untrustative mode yeah fine you can use this hello yeah so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please keep watching my all other video tutorials which is related to uh, asp.net thank you thank you very much